What is up, Reject Nation? I am John Humphrey. There's a dog barking outside because this is a real Rejects video. <laughs> With me is Kyle Eilerman of the Fan Theory Channel. FanTheoryChannel.com, correct? That is it. Yeah, and yeah. you can follow him on Twitter and Instagram at the Kylerman. Please do. It's perfect. You can avoid the tongue twister of saying your name outright. Just, just, just say that from now on, I'm good with it. It's yeah. much easier. Now Kyle, as I understand, you're a Spider-Man fan, no? Uh, just a little. Just a, just a wee bit. <laughs> Something tells me you may have appeared on this channel before talking about Uh, yeah. I'm not a comic book expert by any stretch of the imagination, but Spider-Man has long been the guy I always resonated the most with, you know? And I found this featurette online. There's a new Spider-Man cartoon coming to Disney XD. This is a little cast featurette. I thought it might be cool to check out. Yeah, 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 please. All right, let's go for it. Spider-Man! Somehow that vibranium is working in reverse. Instead of absorbing vibrations, it's producing them. Man. So if I got this web shooter working right, hmm? yes. I always think that Peter Parker works so well for so long because he is the most relatable superhero. Yep. You okay, Pete? You seem a little down. Just money troubles. As a middle-class kid from Queens, He's got an Aunt May to take care of. He's had some real loss in his life. <laughs> we have a whole new cast, and we went through an extensive casting process, particularly for Peter. The great thing about Pete is that he's someone that you can not only relate to, but look up to. I want to be like you. You're my hero. There's not one bad bone in Miles Morales. He's a young 15-year-old science nerd, but everyone loves him. You still haven't met Gwen Stacy, have you? Gwen Stacy? I have. I mean, I haven't. I mean, she's so smart. She can stand up next to him and, and have these amazing ideas. Uh, you know you could have just created a web fan and made a wind cushion from a helicopter's air pressure, right? That's one of the things that I love about this show so much is that all of the students are so capable. What allows cellular devices to transmit without wires? Batteries? I'm shocked. Anya Corazon is mm -hmm. Latin, and she is really kind of a tough girl. This time, at least have a better excuse. She's super smart, intellectual, she knows everything. I've been working on a retinal identification app. What I like about Harry is that even though he grew up privileged, and he's aware of that fact, he's still a loyal friend to Pete. Do you have to be so rude, Dad? And Pete's my best friend. And today, he's the competition. I play Norman Osborn. He's fabulously Whoa. successful and wealthy. When it involves my son, I will move mountains if need be. Wouldn't that upset the organic balance of nature? Max Modell is a genius. He's well versed in all parts of science. Max Modell here says something safe, oh, and cool. I believe he cares about students. Welcome to Horizon High. The Whoa. show is really about teamwork. Your ears must be thick. I said I didn't want to feel that again. Spider-Man, aim for Clayton's chest plate. You don't have huh? to have superpowers in order to stand up mm -hmm. and, and fight. Spider-Man, hang on! Whoa. So you have all the problems of day-to-day -day life. You can count on your family and your friends and your teachers and your own moral compass to guide you through all of life's problems. Thanks for being an important friend. I hope Aww. that people take away from this show that everybody is a hero. <laughs> Water cannon, buzzball! Although technically it should be drink water cannon! It's all the right notes. It's thrilling and funny and adventurous, and I'm so excited for people to see it. I think that looks so great. That looks very fun. It's like Spider Man and his amazing friends who are just human but amazing because they're smart geeks and they know their stuff. I think that looks cool. Oh yeah, I only discovered that this was a thing just recently and the one thing I've heard from kind of everybody involved is that science is the focus of... of... And it should be. It's yeah. what Spider-Man really is based around. Well, I mean, it's it's still science fiction, but I mean... Pseudoscience. It's pseudoscience. I like the idea of, of making a Spider-Man animated series that's utilizing a lot of science stuff. I love the idea of having all the thrilling superhero Spider-Man stuff, but also, you know, having a show that cares a little bit about the science part of things like and that's a part that you don't get to explore that much in the films or, or, or whatever you know because usually the science is here for a minute to explode or something give somebody powers and then they gotta fight spider-man yeah <laughs> you know, like, yeah and i like the look of the other characters too i'm i'm incredibly impressed by like where we've come because there's been so 
many variations of Spider-Man in the cartoons alone. Mm -hmm. Like, there's been so many. I think more so than, than even Batman. None of them have ever done anything like this before, mm -hmm. where all of his friends are helping out. They're kind of putting them all in there, which is really cool. It's not just Gwen Stacy being smart who just gives him a tip here and there. She's cool. a peer. Yeah. There's one thing I liked about Amazing Spider-Man 2. Oh, boy. I actually liked that Gwen Stacy was officially a sidekick, even though that movie was a tur turd. Gwen Stacy's role of like <laughs> tweaking his cartridges and mm -hmm. all this stuff, I thought that was like the one good thing that I got from that movie. This series looks absolutely amazing. Yeah, looks I cool. like how the animation has kind of merged between the traditional American animation with anime. Yeah. Like that's the look of this. The shapes and the builds of the characters and they're stuff like that. They're simple but they're they're clean. It still has detail where it should be counting so you can tell a good story and not focus on having to make someone's mouth move a specific way or whatever. You know, there's so many gritty and real iterations of these superhero characters and it's just nice to watch something like this again where I'm like, oh cool, it's a bit more fantasy and a bit more imaginative and a bit more broad in that sense. It's and, a new and, facet of the universe. And I do like when they have Spider-Man in high school. That's truly where Spider-Man was at his best. I mean, even the uh, the uh, the animated, the most popular one from the 90s, which was The Amazing Spider-Man, they had him start immediately upon graduation of high school. Like, he's uh -huh, right okay. into college, right into that series. Like Spider-Man 1. Yeah. Yeah. It was just like that. Like, okay. just like Spider-Man 1 was. And it was like, wait, you should keep him in high school just a bit longer. Mm -hmm. you know? And that's what I'm excited about, the new movies and everything. Because there are so many different characters and stuff, it's nice to have a superhero who is kind of a kid. To me, that broadens out what this whole genre has become. Yeah. You know, I feel like that's even more important now that we got, like, Spider-Man Homecoming, where he is it's just a high school story. Yeah. Know? That broadens out the universe. I think it's hilarious how Aunt May is basically a, a young 20-something-year-old <laughs> woman with gray hair. Aunt May gets cooler <laughs> every time we do this. Now. I mean, like, if you go back to Amazing Spider-Man, she was, like, Golden Girls, like, Sophia, and now she's, like... <laughs> I'm this fun, cool aunt who has gray hair, who's an old lady, but totally young. Yeah. <laughs> totally young. Hey like, man, hip aunt fresh man. Fresh out of college young. Like, what? <laughs> I don't know if I want this to be the trend forever, but uh, at the moment <laughs> that, it, that it's happening, I'm like, okay. All right. This is fun. All right. Marissa Tomei and, and, and hip. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what I thought. I was like, she seems really sprightly for her age. <laughs> like, this is the Aunt May I think of usually, like... Peter. You know, Peter, yeah, <laughs> the, the Rosemary Harris. Peter. Peter. Oh, this is really cool. I'm glad, I'm glad we decided to look at this. You guys can subscribe to The Real Rejects. Hit that notification bell to get notified every time a video or a review is out. Kylerman on Twitter and Instagram. The fansourcechannel.com. No, I'm sorry. That's a I mixed you and Andrew up. <laughs> FanTheoryChannel.com. You can come check us out on Patreon. We got all kinds of exclusives and fun things over there. Come join our community. We got t-shirts on Spreadshirt. And until next time, I love each and every one of you. Peace.